Mm -hmm. All right. We're back. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Yay. New year, new us. Hello. <laughs> yeah, what is going on in January? <laughs> There's a lot been going on in December. Mm -hmm. What's Venus retrograde been for you? Are you feeling it at mm -hmm. work? Definitely with the coworkers. You know, it's like, like even just giving back with you too. Yes. I, I haven't seen you in a while. Venus retrograde has been reviewing my relationship with weed. Oh yes. Which is, is funny that it's in mm -hmm. Capricorn because Saturn rules weed. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about how Venus was retrograde with Pluto. It's stationed with oh, Pluto. Yeah. Addiction. Yeah, totally Addiction. in Capricorn. Pluto, mm -hmm. that's dark stuff, that's hard stuff. Yeah. Um, the death and the life of things. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Pluto seems to like reward you when you mm -hmm. go into what it's trying to show you rather than avoiding it. You yeah. Know, Pluto seems to be like, okay, mm -hmm. do you want to look at this? If you work with it, it'll work with you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It'll be a lot harder if you yeah. fight it, basically. <laughs> so I'm trying to not fight it. Yeah, just accept <laughs> it. <laughs> I've also seen or heard about Venus retrograde conjoining Pluto having to get away with from a controlling person. Yeah. Um, I've seen, you know, Pluto rules control. It rules uh, Capricorn power. Capricorn sobering, controlling, yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. Or mm -hmm. maybe you're noticing that that's coming up for you. You're mm -hmm. feeling more, the more need for control. Yeah. Or something like that. Yes, you know? that's me. Yes. It's like kind of letting go of that control. Yes. Of where I have been a little bit more domineering <laughs> in the past. Yes, <laughs> yes. Also, powerful women on mm -hmm. trial right now. Totally. Jizz lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. I'm not. I'm not aware of this. Just like <laughs> the Hello. Epstein, Epstein oh, okay. lady is on trial right now. Oh, Jizzler. That's okay. Jizzlane. Yeah, <laughs> I like to call her. I was Jizzlane. thinking of like the suicide lane or what is it called? Oh. The, the carpool lane. I'm like just completely covered. <laughs> the Jizzlane. <laughs> okay, but the the one other person I wanted to talk about women on trial. Elizabeth Holmes. Mm -hmm. She um, a few years ago got caught. Basically, fraud. Lots of fraud. Yeah. I need you to... Chris, will you pull up a picture of Elizabeth Holmes? Because this girl is a reptilian. She should be marrying <laughs> Zuckerberg. A fucking Zuckerberg. Like, boy. show a headshot of her. Oh, my God. Girl Zuckerberg. Yeah. <laughs> but she had the same forehead. Well, anyway, so that that's Venus retrograde. Women's bodies. There's a lot of verdicts going a on. A lot. Venus stations direct January 28th. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the month, we can talk about that. Yeah. We'll get That's there. That's exciting. Buckle up. What else is happening? Jupiter and Pisces. Ooh. Well, that was a fun little Tell ingress. me, Mr. Jupiter. Jupiter perfection year. Yes. Who is she? <laughs> oh, the energy shift yeah. was night and day. Potent. Yeah. Potent. Neptune's right there with them in the same place. They're like, let's get crazy. He wants to take some shrooms and do some yes. shit. See some shit. That is an important part about Jupiter going into Pisces. Yeah. I tend to ignore Neptune. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Which, which Neptune loves yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. um, because I just want hope and it's mm -hmm. great. I'm fucking tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. It could be I'm a little tired. delusional. <laughs> yeah. So, sure. yeah, I'll just ignore Neptune and be delusional. For now, <laughs> um, we have hope and inspiration mm -hmm. and I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. It's in my fifth house. But so. also being aware of the over hype of <laughs> things, you yes. know? The, um, other part of mm -hmm. Jupiter and Pisces. Totally. Just belligerently the, yelling the about The excessiveness <laughs> of like, oh, you want to know about this? Well, blah, I'm going like, to verbally dump all of on you. No filter. That's that's what this yes. is. Yes. Oh. Yeah. There is no filter yeah. with Jupiter There's no cutting Jupiter. back. There's no editing. No. But I like it. I like Jupiter and Pisces better than Jupiter and Aquarius. Mm -hmm. I was tired of it, personally. It was a little phony on. for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. Phony. Yeah. And it was just old. I'm tired of Jupiter being in Saturn's sign. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Yeah. Move on from that same mm -hmm. old story. Also, Saturn has been squaring Uranus just all year, right? Square. Uh, exact three times in 2021. Mm -hmm. So in 2022, it won't hit exact at all, mm -hmm. but it'll still be there. Still signs talking to so each other for sure. So we're still feeling the stud... We're still feeling the sudden destabilization. Mm -hmm. We're still feeling established structures yeah. being destabilized. Rattle the establishment. <laughs> For the good and the bad. Yeah. We see that and on all ends. Yeah, like there's a give and take to both sides. Both sets, like, I feel like the Aquarian nature, like two mindsets that are like fixed in yeah. the way of thinking. Mm, like learning from each other in mm -hmm. some way or like getting rattled and yes. kind of shaken to be like, 
Oh, look, look, look what he's talking about. Or like, yes. look what he's talking about. Yeah, I see you. Also, environmental stuff. Very much In so. general, we, mm-hmm. we all kind of expected that. Some Taurus fucking Aquarian, another kind of square, we're talking about lab-grown meat. Oh, yes. That's like... Yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> vegan, we're vegans. Should we go there? Like, no. no. No, thank you. Not on this channel. Oh, you mean should we go there? I think oh. that should we go there and eat <laughs> some lab meat? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm okay with it. What if I do... It will get other people to not yes, kill animals. Yes, yes. Took yes. the words right out of my exactly. mouth. Exactly. Because I was like, you know what? This would be great for the cows. Yeah. Because I love yeah. them. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to keep them here. But that's another fun little Aquarius tor- <laughs> Aquarius Taurus and Taurus. Yeah. Like, that's so... Mm-hmm. That's too much. Because here you have this, like, fixed, like, mentality of a Taurus food. Like, it's been this way forever. You're yes. never going to change it. Caveman. And Aquarian's like... Square, the square over <laughs> yeah. here is like, we can change we that. We can change that. So, like fucking Saturn's over there in his little spectacles. I love like, that. We can put that in the lab. <laughs> so that was our overview. And now we're just going to talk day by day a little bit okay. about everything. We're mm-hmm. going to try not to talk too much because we're hungry. Oh, dinner. Yeah. Oh, wait. What about wine? Should we this is kinda, Should we pop open yeah. some Yeah. Now we'll wi- take it day by day with a glass. Wine time? Wine time. Wine time. We'll do a little, little gif here yeah. with the little wine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wine time Mm -hmm. and continue talking about what's up for January. What's going on? What should we be aware of? There's Mm -hmm. a lot happening in January. A lot. So we're just going to kind of take it day by day and just walk through it. I'm going to be releasing this video kind of the second week of January probably. So we have a couple things that will have passed. Yeah. Already. you'll look back on be like, yeah. That happened. That happened. That was me. Mm -hmm. I was a part of it. I took my picture there. (laughs) I got the hat. I got the t-shirt. Yeah. Complete tourist. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or local, whatever. <laughs> or local, whatever. Yeah. So January 1st, Mercury moved into Aquarius. I'm in a Mercury perfection here, mm-hmm. so I was ready for Mercury to get the fuck out of Pluto, Venus, heavy. bullshit. Yeah. Like The conversations are a little heavy versus talking about something a little lighter. It's and... funny because it moves into mm-hmm. co-presence with Saturn, but I'll take it. Yeah. I'm Cause... just always down for an ingress because yeah. it's different. Yeah. I'm ready to move on a lot of the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like he was staying at this like really messy house and he goes into someone else's house he's like oh that house was shitty and the guy who owns the house is like saturn's like looking at me like oh that was my house yeah <laughs> like me it's still gonna be it's not that much better here <laughs> it's actually a lot colder yeah. <laughs> and a lot lonelier for sure there isn't pluto there just glaring at you in the corner which is important so that is important mm-hmm. <laughs> wine time Ooh. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Yum Thank yum. You so much. Cheers. Oh, it's like slightly effervescent. I know. Oh my god. Interesting. So this is cannabis infused wine. Mm. Uh, so we may <laughs> not make it to the end. <laughs> Wait, let me see. That's amazing. Shimmering is there alcohol in this? I know, right? What's the percentage? I don't know. Hmm. Is there just is there no alcohol? Is in there it? no alcohol because there's weed in it? Hmm. Hmm. There you go. Jupiter and Pisces. Well, we'll We're going to overindulge. <laughs> we'll see about it. <laughs> we'll mix it. <laughs> huh. I wonder how high it'll get us. We're about to find out. Mm-hmm. Tune in, America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So January 1st, Mercury moved into Aquarius, which was nice for Mercury to be mm-hmm. freed up. Aquarius has probably got way more busy. Yes. Did you definitely. get more busy with your seventh house? There was a lot more planning and organizing, reaching out to people. Okay. Making yes. events. Not yes. making events. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> People that make events, right. I reached out to them. Yes. Talking yes. to those people. Lots my of se- that seventh house. Correspondence. Yes. And like, what are you doing over there? I want to yeah. be a part of it. Yeah. Kind of thing. Much more activity. Yeah. Planning, organizing. Yes. And that was totally, totally real. DMing. Oh, I mean, emailing all of the- it. <laughs> everything. <laughs> all of the communities. Across all the platforms. Yeah. I'm like, oh God, I haven't opened my email. I haven't done since- this in forever. I know. And then here <laughs> I am in Aquarius again. I'm like, okay, I could do this. It's lighter, it's airier. Yeah. It's not as constricted. Yeah. Saturn's there. It's like riding a bike. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that makes sense to I've someone. Ch- I've, I've, yeah, it will. I've checked my email before. I've checked my email this before. before right? <laughs> and then January yeah. 2nd. January 2nd. Ooh, a new moon in Cap. Yeah, that was the new moon in Cap. I did a whole ritual. I did a whole month, you know, calling in the new moon, manifest mm-hmm. stuff. I also did a whole ritual for the year. Uh-huh. Because I was like, hmm, first new moon in the year. Might as yep. well talk about what I want for the year. Exactly. So did a whole ass wrist. Ritual. Mm-hmm. It's already getting to me. <laughs> <laughs> ritual. <laughs> I love it. But I was noticing with mm-hmm. Jupiter moving into Pisces, I'm like doing more rituals mm-hmm. and more stuff like that. Mm. 
I remember that was right after New Year's, mm-hmm. and we had the where I was working was closed the first, but not second. So that was like the day going back oh. to work. Mm-hmm. And I remember that, like, new year and then the new moon, obviously yeah. kind of adding to it and, like, being like, oh, I don't want to be here much longer. Okay, now I need to start reaching out and mm-hmm. seeing, like, planning, what else is going coordinating, on. Mm-hmm. doing different shit. Cause... Planting seeds. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Is what I was doing. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. great. Totally and that's your sixth seeds. house, so that makes sense. Going, going back, back to, to work, work and being like, uh-uh, mm. planting seeds. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> planting seeds in, like, this garden. So January 8th is... Venus Kazemi, the sun mm. will conjoin our Venus retrograde. It's getting hot. Yeah. <laughs> Venus. Burning up. <laughs> yeah. 18 degrees cap. Mm-hmm. Venus is just going to shed a layer like a phoenix and then and just ve- like rise from the ashes. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's coming, it's going from evening to a morning star mm-hmm. on the 8th. I predict relationship issues <laughs> of some kind. Oh, yeah. Issues doesn't have to be a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I just mean. If it happens, Things it happens. coming up, mm-hmm. possibly. And if it so, happens on the 8th, comment below what yeah, happened. Yeah, exactly. We all want to know. So I want to hear about your renewal. Mm-hmm. We will have some sort of Venus renewal. And Rebirth. So, yes. Yeah, so Libra and Taurus will be feeling that a lot. For sure. Uh, so Mars square Neptune. January 11th. 20 degrees. That'll be intense. Is it 20 degrees? Yeah. It is 20 degrees, mm-hmm. Cap and Pisces. Mm-hmm. So Mars going, thank you for We much. have more of that Alex Jones energy. Speaking... Sorry. Oh, speaking like that. <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We better not talk about this that long or mm-hmm. we're going to spill wine. Exactly. Being intense about your dream or your fantasy or your whatever mm-hmm. thing you're obsessed over yeah. right now. That world that you put yourself in. Video games, Think drinking. Think about like what's your escape. Just, and, then, and don't do too much of it. Don't do too much of it. Because Mars will punish you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe going overboard a yeah. bit. Exactly. Um, I can see going overboard in the first part of the month. Yeah. And then this is like reel it in. Like, don't. Come on. Yeah, don't forget. Jupiter and Pisces. What the fuck? <laughs> and Mars. Just it being. Could, oops, sorry. Sorry. Ex- <laughs> exalted in Capricorn. Yes. Do you know who Mars is in this situation? Mm-hmm. It's the guy who has to like pick up the drunk friend. Oh, Who had my to like God. drink too much. He doesn't yes. want to do yeah. it. So you don't want to take care of him. So true. But it's, that's what's happening. That's exactly what's happening. Mm-hmm. You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> that's why you're here. Why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but making could, it big. You could be Mars or mm-hmm. Neptune in this You could situation. be Mars or you, Neptune. Maybe you're the drunk guy. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're the guy help, helping the exactly. drunk guy. Exactly. <laughs> if you're in the Jupiter year, you're probably going to be the drunk guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you're a Pisces, <laughs> Or yikes. Mars. I mean, mm-hmm. any of it. You could, it's up, it could be you. It could be you. <laughs> <laughs> you could be drunk right now. <laughs> and then, on January 14th. The Mercury station. Mercury station's retrograde. Uh, it's, uh, mm-hmm. Terrifying. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't it freak would out. not be terrifying, <laughs> but this one is. <laughs> it's a little terrifying. This one's a bit. A little much. I mean, I feel like after 2020, I'm not afraid of any aspect. Psych take. What, this what do you one got? is troublesome, though. Mm-hmm. I would say this Mercury retrograde will be bringing up a lot of stuff from the past mm-hmm. and a lot of like re earthing some mm, shit. Yes. That's like, ew. That, that was a thing? Uh, exactly. We're going to be a little disgusted. I think it'll be helping a lot, or helping, dealing with, with <laughs> Carl, with the Venus retrograde a lot. Yeah, because it'll be hitting the same areas, yeah. for sure. And they'll mm-hmm. both be retrograde. But and that's an interesting <laughs> dynamic, too, like that path that Mercury travels, where mm. it brushes over what Venus went through, and it's also taking in that square mm-hmm. from Uranus and Saturn. You're right. It's so literally it's like, melding them both. Yeah. It's covering a lot of ground. So if you have yeah. two separate things going on in your life, they may cohese. Mm-hmm. Cohese. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> at some point. Mm-hmm. Because we've been dealing with this Venus retrograde stuff, mm-hmm. looking at our relationships, our past relationships, mm-hmm. etc. But then for the past year, we've been dealing with the trying to stabilize in an unstable time. Yep, very and true. And they're pretty separate, mm-hmm. maybe. And now they'll this probably This is going to be... be Mercury speaking to that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. So I can see, even because it's in a, like a Saturn sign, some really important announcements, like in like law like law announcements or like business announcement. Government. Government yeah. kind of coming yeah. forward and being like, so this is what happened. I know y'all are thinking it. Here it is. The but here's the T. <clears throat> the exactly. governmental T. <laughs> And T <laughs> is what the, we're getting. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The authority will exactly. be speaking to I, some I'm excited things. what it is. I feel like with that Pluto, like crossing over Pluto, we're going to get something 
juicy. You would be excited, yeah. Jupiter ass. <laughs> Jupiter roll. I'm ready. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be horrifying. <laughs> it's not mm-hmm. actually terrifying. We just this is how we communicate. Mm-hmm. I mean, it'll be fun. It'll be it'll be grand old time. Toxic positivity. Yeah. Everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. Just smile mm-hmm. and it'll be good. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, so, on the sixteenth. Getting a little bit later towards the end of Capricorn season when the sun conjoins Pluto, that's probably going to sh- also shed some light on what Mercury had to say, too. True. You know? Maybe it'll be a moment of catharsis mm-hmm. of some kind. Yeah. Pluto is like, all about that. The nature in the feels. Getting to the heart mm-hmm. of the issue. Mm-hmm. So Pluto Kazemi? Yeah. Pluto Kazemi, you oh. know, Pluto's having its rebirth. It's true. I can also see like an issue like with. The, leadership and power um maybe a plot twist exactly so then january 17th we have our full moon Mm, full moon at 27 degrees cancer oh it's like a tale as old as time because i was born in a full moon chart at nine degrees cancer so i think i have a like a little thing on this full moon like what's what's going down i'd love to hear about it because it's exactly opposite pluto so i would say it'll be intense yeah and th- you will feel it oh, at yeah. the moon. It's going to be personal. Emotionally yeah. intense. Invested into it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. The next day. The you, next day after the full moon. Uranus stations direct. Thank Ooh. you very much. 10 degrees Taurus. That's a hot spot mm. lately, that mm. 10 degrees. Oh, that's a hot spot Because sure. Uranus has been slowly that's, stationing. So, so we're going to stay here and just fuck shit up. <laughs> this Uranus. Mm-hmm. But there'll, there'll be Just some kidding. sort of shit. <laughs> I think it's cute. I think it's cute. I think it's Uranus. adorable. <laughs> Especially in a Venus mm-hmm. sign. <laughs> that same day, the nodes change. The nodes change into the Taurus-Scorpio axis. But that's if you <laughs> use the true node, mm-hmm. which is a different calculation. So if you use the mean node, it already changed on Christmas Eve. Yeah. I don't know. I've been just waiting for the roof to cave in because the south node's going into my first house. Anytime. Yeah, it's, it's close. Mm-hmm. It's getting there. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> the nodes kind of remind me of like the Marie Kondo of the Zodiac, <laughs> you know, but they're like, hold on to this. Does this bring you joy? No, fuck it. South <laughs> node. That's a South node item. I like that. You know, just but like. That's great mm-hmm. because eclipses. So now mm-hmm. the eclipses are going to be in. In these new signs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Marie Kondo is coming through Scorpio and Taurus and. Exactly. Cleaning or <laughs> yeah. organizing or cleaning, mm-hmm. whatever. And then the next day. It becomes Aquarius season. The Ooh. sun moves into Aquarius, mm-hmm. which I am also ready for. I'm ready for that because I feel like it being co-present there with Saturn yeah. in its sign. Like, that should, that should be a good time. It's a party. <laughs> it's a party <laughs> with Saturn. Yeah. Jail. Mm-hmm. Party with the... Um, the <laughs> with the guy who has the keys. Yeah. What is that what, guy's the, name? The jailer. Yeah. What is his name, though? There's like... Warden. Warden. The warden. <laughs> But we just had Maybe to some mention. new technologies coming out. Ooh. I would love a tech drop. Yeah. I would love an Apple, what's it called? The thing? The VR. The VR. Yeah. I've heard they're in the works. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm waiting for it this Aquarius season. Anything that give isn't Facebook. Tech. Yeah. Anything that <laughs> Anything isn't Facebook. Anything that isn't Facebook. Give me something. <laughs> give me out of here. My Neptune, <laughs> Jupiter is like, get me out of here. And put me into some other dimension, reality, fucking. <laughs> um, then we get a bit of a break for like mm-hmm. a couple days. And then Mars moves into Capricorn on January 24th, which Mm -hmm. we all love Mm -hmm. in this house. The, like, exalted Mm -hmm. Mars is a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. So you will have the energy to take action properly. Not just, like, Mars and Aries taking action. Everywhere. Whatever Mm -hmm. action. Don't care. Yeah. Like, Mars and Capricorn is calculated. It's like, yeah. It's calculated. Plants the numbers, crunches the numbers, and then does, Yeah. yeah. You have exalted Mars in the sixth, six. and I have mm-hmm. domiciled Mar- Mars in mm-hmm. the sixth, and I will trade. <laughs> yeah. I'm jealous of the Mars in Capricorn uh, ability for patience to mm-hmm. plan properly mm-hmm. versus the Mars in Aries. Mm-hmm. No patience to plan properly. Yeah. You just do it. Just Mars... do it. <laughs> yeah. Mars moving into the Saturn sign is definitely like a pump the brakes kind of moment mm-hmm. of like, let's slow down a little bit. Yes. Exciting things mm-hmm. happen after that. We get the Venus station retrograde. Wrong. (laughs) We get the Venus stationing direct. Yes, January 28th. Mm -hmm. Venus finally stationed direct. (laughs) Drunk. Venus (laughs) finally... I don't know. Venus Mm. stations direct at 11 degrees cap. Mm. Mm. (laughs) 
<laughs> but I was like, that was it. Like, no. That you do with that what you will. So <laughs> anyway, go ahead and unpack that. So, <laughs> moving on. Maybe Move. feeling some sort of completion. Definitely a, a completion. Yeah. Or like coming to terms with. Feeling like something a is. A resolvement. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I'm just so ready. I just want, I just mm-hmm. want Venus to be direct. I'm tired of it being co-present with Pluto. Yeah. I feel bad for all the Venus ruled people. It's been a lot for them. It's not, it's not looking good. And I'll tell you right now, it's not getting better anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I can we'll like tell you miss. the truth here. Yeah. We don't sugarcoat anything. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it just is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mercury conjoins Pluto the same day that Venus stations direct. Okay. Yes. Ooh, the big speech. Yeah, you the know. big speech. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the big breakup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, sip. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, then January 30th, we have Sun Square Uranus. More surprises. Nice little harsh square. Mm -hmm. Aquarius and Taurus. Cryptocurrency goodness, (laughs) maybe. Maybe Maybe. some more uh, vegan alternative food goodness. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I can see... Some sort of shake-up, though, to the norm. To the norm. And then we have the new moon. The new moon. Then we have the new moon at 12 degrees Aquarius, January 31st, Mm -hmm. if you're in California. February 1st, if Mm -hmm. you're almost everywhere else, except Hawaii. (laughs) <laughs> this is a good little reset button revival at the end of the month i hope so it's getting better yeah it's getting better slowly mm-hmm. but surely jupiter's still having a great time jupiter over. is in pisces so yeah. it's getting better period <laughs> whether or not it's getting, it's getting better, better we're saying it's getting, it's better. getting better all right we mm-hmm. did it that's it we did it we drank mm-hmm. wine and we talked about what's happening in january and mm-hmm. a lot turns out a yeah. lot is happening we want to hear from you, too. Yes. Like, what's going on in your life in please, January? Please t- give mm-hmm. us the wine time yeah. key. What's going mm-hmm. on for Venus Retrograde for you? What have you yes. been working on? I guess that's it. I guess yeah. we should make dinner now. Mm-hmm. You ready to boil some rice <laughs> and beans? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. thank you for joining us. Um, we never did an intro. We walked on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go make dinner. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>